Welcome back to the channel, my friends. Warhammer Man Studios. I'm Warhammer Man, and today we're taking a look at the new Servo Skull painting palette. This video is sponsored by CMO Games. More on that later. The new Servo Skull painting palette is your latest weapon in the war against gray plastic. Painting miniatures is one of the cornerstones of the Warhammer hobby, and there's no real right or wrong way to paint, but there are a plethora of tools to help you get the job done. And the new Servo Skull palette slots right into your artistic arsenal. All right, so there's a little video right here showing off the new painting palette, but we'll take a look at the full article. Made from flexible silicone, it is designed to be long-lasting, easy to clean, and most importantly, to look like a servo skull. 24 separate paint wells of varying sizes have been incorporated into the design, and all you need to clean this is wait for the paint to dry and pop it out. Wash the palette with a little warm water and soap, and you'll be good to go. All right, so we see the actual design of the servo painting palette, and then obviously see it in use and then a little demonstration of the cleaning process. So I would say that this is definitely neat. I personally have been using a silicone painting palette for quite a while now. I've tested out wet palettes over the years and used them a decent amount. But when it's all said and done, I prefer a dry palette or something like this. And honestly, for a company whose business model and product offering is completely based around something that involves you painting all of your miniatures, I think this is a great idea. I've been very happy since I switched over to the silicone painting palette. It is really easy to clean. It does work extremely well and overall is a phenomenal idea. And while I definitely think it's a good idea for Games Workshop to get into the silicone palette offering, let's talk about this actual product. So it is definitely a gimmick that it's shaped and looks like a servo skull, which is cool and everything like that. But I think for me, the biggest issue with this product is just going to be one, the actual like gimmick of it makes it so it's not that great of an actual palette. The one I use is just a bunch of little wells, all equally shaped and sized. And while it could potentially be nice to have some larger ones and then some on the smaller side, it's really not necessary because you can just fill up the well as much or as little as you want based on what you're going to be painting. If you just need a dab of paint, you can 100% just put a dab in. If you're going to be painting something where you're going to be going through quite a bit of volume of paint, you can definitely just fill the well like the majority of the way up. And while the offering of like a thematic servo skull painting palette is cool and everything, for me, the way I look at this is if this product was the exact same price as the fully functional product that I already have or that I'd be looking to pick up, would I rather have the gimmicky one or would I rather just have the basic one? And for me, I'd rather just have the basic one. I don't really see a necessity of like all of these various different shaped and size wells. If anything, it's kind of a drawback. And while the actual gimmick is clever and everything like that, honestly, I just see this as downside over a silicone painting palette on the looks and functionality aspect. And while I do think a silicone painting palette is a necessity for everyone out there, and I definitely recommend picking one up, these things have literally been out for years, so this isn't some like brand new innovation or anything like that. And the majority of the products Games Workshop have put out in the past that are gimmicky, like for instance, the Servo Skull tape measure, haven't done well and were completely unnecessary. So then that brings us to the most important thing, the price. We know whenever Games Workshop puts out one of its own little branded products, incorporates its IP into something that you could already purchase somewhere else, they put a massive premium on the price. So I don't know what they're going to want to charge for this, but let's just assume it's somewhere around like $25 or $30, which isn't crazy when you compare it to like other painting palettes out there. The one that I use has substantially more wells, which means you don't need to paint it after each use. All of the wells are basically just the little circular ones that you see right here which means that they're easy to just push out. It's actually reversible, so you can use one side and then you can use the other side. And it's exactly the same. You just pop all the little bubbles to the other side. And then also the one that I have is available from the dollar store for literally a couple of bucks. So for me, this one seems to be cool and nifty and a clever thematic design, but it's probably gonna cost around 10 times as much as the one that I already have. It's gonna be more difficult or less easy to clean. It's gonna be made out of the same material. And when it's all said and done, I think the other one is a superior product. This one is basically just a gimmick. And my guess is that that gimmick is going to have like a 10x price tag on it over just a fully functional one without the gimmick. Now a quick message from today's sponsor. CMO Games has been selling Games Workshop products online for over 20 years. They carry the full line of Games Workshop products including Warhammer 40,000, Age of Sigmar, Necromunda, Blood Bowl, Paint Tools, and more. Almost all Games Workshop products are priced at 15% off MSRP. CMO Games takes pre-orders for most Games Workshop products released at their earliest date possible. 12.01 a.m. on Saturday, they go live. Most of these pre-order products are also priced at 15% off MSRP. CMO Games offer free shipping in the U.S. 48 with an order of $50 or more. Their customer service is top-notch and they ship most orders within 24 hours. Visit CMOGames.com using the affiliate link in the description and let them know that you heard about CMO Games from Warhammer Man. Now, back to the video. So while this is a cool, thematic, and clever product, 
let's say hypothetically, which I think is completely unreasonable, Games Workshop decided to put this out for $5, would I buy it then? Maybe. If it was like two or three times the price of a normal one, I might pick it up just because it's cool and everything like that. But I suspect that over time, I would probably just end up using the one that I already have as it doesn't have the awkward shape that it would take up on your desk. It has a bunch more paint wells in it, which means that I don't need to clean it after every use. And it's also much more convenient to clean. So I think honestly that this is just an unnecessary and bad product. It's cool that Games Workshop will offer this now, but realistically, would they have been better off just putting out a less expensive version of a palette you could just pick up at the dollar store or any art store without the clever design? I think probably. I think there's a lot of people that would just buy it because it's a branded product from them. But I think them making it into a service call is what allows them to charge the massive premium over what you would pay for just a functional product from another company. So for me, this is an easy pass. This is a complete gimmick. And while hopefully this will get some other people to pick up silicone palettes and just see how great they are, I think more likely than not, it's probably just going to bring to the forefront attention to people that silicone palettes exist. And if anyone spends just a minute or two shopping around, they're probably going to see that they can find these either online for like 10 bucks or at a local arts or crafts store, or in my case, a dollar store for literally like $3. So for me, this is an easy pass. I think it's a good idea for Games Workshop to offer a silicone palette, but I think realistically, based on the premium and the fact that this is clearly designed just to look cool rather than be functional, there's no actual reason to pick this up. It's perfect for all levels of hobbyists, from total beginners to those with dozens of gorgeous armies in the cabinet. This new palette will join the rest of the Citadel color range and replace the existing color palette pad. We'll have more information on when the release soon. So yeah, I mean, cool idea, cool offering. I definitely think that Games Workshop should offer a silicone palette. And in that sense, it's a great idea. But the fact of the matter is, when it comes to the majority of like actual hobby tools and stuff like that, they're basically just other stuff that you could already buy with the IP slapped on it or the description that they're for miniature painting and then a massive premium to go along with it. I find that the majority of like the clippers, paintbrushes, paint shakers, palettes, all of the like various little things designed specifically for miniature painting are basically just a product that already exists somewhere else for a much more reasonable price and more often than not that's the route i take so let me know what you think of the new servo skull painting palette have you been using a silicone palette or used one before do you normally use a wet or dry palette what do you think of this product and would you be picking it up for somewhere around like 25 to 30 dollars or are you thinking about going down to the local art store or dollar store and picking one of these things up for somewhere around like three to ten dollars Always like to hear back from you guys in the comments. And as always, special thanks to CMO Games for sponsoring the channel. Check out the link in the description to save 15% on most Games Workshop products. That's it for today. Warhammer Man Studios, I'm Warhammer Man, and I'm out of here.